Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the West March campaign. Tonight we will be uh, visiting a with a uh, an old familiar location with a new with a little bit of a twist. Uh, and we'll be uh, exploring the uh, the uh, underground caverns in which the ancient dra red dragon that was slain many uh, many moons ago resided. Uh, in the viney pits of Palutia, uh, we shall see what uh, what things may or may not have happened in that uh, in the time uh, that the players have have uh, stopped exploring the Soulwood after the death of both the deaths of the dragon and also the war with uh, with the Winter Maiden. Uh, 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 fuck, I've forgotten her name. Um, Orchid, that's the word. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go over to our players and uh, and uh, let them introduce themselves. Mm -hmm. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. How is everyone this evening? Well, <laughs> crickets. <laughs> okay, I was worried my internet just had another issue, really and I was gonna be like, I certainly am, but <laughs> no other noise was happening, so I didn't. I really normally know. don't answer that question, but nobody did that time, so it was wait, very noticeable. <laughs> Bugging crickets. Did you, wait, did you not hear what I said? No. No. <gasps> I think, like, eventually we did. You said something. Uh, but it was, it was when we all said crickets. I have the single most introverted party I could possibly get tonight, y'all. Yeah. I, I answered immediately. <laughs> <laughs> the microphone did not pick it up. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> What's worse is I don't even remember what I said. That's okay. Um, I think you said you are well, but that was probably yeah. after than when I thought. Uh, but yeah, hi probably. everybody. Welcome, welcome Hello. to tonight's session. Uh, we're gonna have everybody introduce themselves and their characters really quickly, starting with Miss Huffy. I'm Miss Huffy. Uh, I'll be playing Tisiphone, the snake person. Uh, we use she her pronouns. Uh, I can be found at twitch.tv slash Miss Huffy. And patreon.com slash Miss Huffy. True. Uh, and, uh, Ven why don't you just keep it going down on down the line? Venny, you're next. Hello, my name is Venny Dlera. You can find me pretty much everywhere as Venny Dlera, um, such as Twitch, Blue Sky, Twitter, so on and so forth. Um, I go by Feishi pronouns. Tonight I'll be playing as Cho, who it's been a while since I last played. Um, she goes by she, her pronouns. Um... Okay, I I run through it more faster than normal. I don't know what to say. Uh, well, uh, did, uh, if you're done, then you can popcorn it on to the next person. Yeah, uh, Rue, uh, it would be Rue. Next. Rue or Tro. Okay. Rue is next in the line on screen, so Rue is next. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hi, I'm Rue. Um. I'm playing a new PC, uh, Aureus Bovide. Um, he is an awakened dick dick, and he has a neat hat. Uh, you can find me at at twitch.tv forward slash RuruTC. Uh, pro. Hello, hello! My name is Resident Scarecrow, but please, just call me Crow. Uh, tonight I am playing as Roderick St Oh god, I forgot my own boy's last name. Roderick Stonebeard. Uh, he is a dwarf with an axe and a propensity for chopping things into bits, uh, and occasionally throwing an axe his own body size at an enemy. Uh, I use he, him pronouns, as does the character. I would say where you can find me, but you can't find me, because I haven't streamed in well over a year. Yeah, it's just here, folks. This is the only place you're getting uh, Resident Scarecrow content. It's an exclusive to my streams. Yeah. 
We have the Monopoly and Scarecrow content. Don't say that, yeah. DC will come. Crow suddenly has. <laughs> <laughs> Crow has to sign a non compete with Bell. Don't worry about yeah, it. Chat. Yeah, absolutely. That is absolutely how that works. <laughs> And don't worry, folks. I know a little bit of le of contract law. I've dealt with enough demons to know. Uh, and by the way, there's a lot of loopholes. You should probably patch that for the next person. You're a loophole. I am. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that, because that was what I was about to respond with. Uh, yes, hello, everybody. Um, so we're going we're gonna to go ahead and pan in on your characters this evening. Uh, as they arrive in the Hall of Blades, where since the uh, since the war, uh, quests have been being posted. Um, uh, and so each of you has kind of been called upon to help a new explorer uh, to explore the depths of an ancient and ruined city known as Palutia. Excuse me. Uh, some of you would know that Palutia is the site where uh, Silas and Arcadia and a bunch of others uh, murdered a giant fuck-off dragon. Ooh. It is also where Miss Malady became the Lizard Queen. I've never heard of those people. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we will kind of pan in. Uh, Rue, uh, why don't you describe your character for us? Because you're kind of the first one there. You're waiting for everybody else to get there. Um, as you were the one who posted the quest. Uh, it was actually what you call to face. Yeah, I know, but so, you're yeah. the one being yeah. sent on the quest by the person who sent who posted it. Which also happens to be one of your player characters. Turned NPC, but yeah. Uh... Can you repeat what you wanted me to do? Basically, I want you to describe your character as you are standing and waiting for these chuckle fucks to hollow blades. Ah. Uh. I'm a tiny deer. I've got tiny horns. I've got a neat hat. I've got two spatial bags. Uh, I am a cleric of drag. Very chaotic good. Um... Which, I don't know if, I, I, I think helping out everybody randomly at my call yeah, is probably absolutely. good. Um, Track worshiper, hell yeah. And, uh, I like goats. They're kind of neat because they got those weird eyes. Fantastic. Uh, who do you guys think will be the first one to show up after being called after kind of seeing the 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 call to adventure on the the notice boards of each of the towns choke and fly <laughs> that's true <laughs> that, that, choke can fly but she's also very tired in general all the time constantly yeah cuz she's <laughs> old no a little old Tissy is pretty much the same age, but she was stuck in the Shadowfell, pretty for, much, in the Shadow for, Plane, for, yeah, Shadow for, It's the Shadowfell. Or the Shadowfell for 30 millennia. Yup. <laughs> for the time between Jesus and the God Emperor in 40k, to give a better perspective of how long that was. <laughs> Shout out to our Warhammer 40k fans. Yeah. Uh, so, um, I'm, I'm going to say, since Cho probably isn't going to be the one, uh, cause she's a fucking tired old lady, Roderick, it's probably going to yeah. be you being that you work there. Yeah, it, it probably is Roderick, all things considered. I mean, he probably would have seen the quest after returning to town and be like, well, I guess that works out. Came from after a nice the job. war. After the war, war changed, okay. Roderick. No, it didn't. After the war, I went back to New York. After the war, I went back to New York. <laughs> I finished. I'm, st I'm, I'm going to stop before uh, we Thank get you. any copyright strikes. Thank you. 
also because uh, I am not in the proper position to project my vocals and sing. I appreciate that, Crow. I really do. Uh, but yeah, so Roderick, you would be the, fir the first one to kind of show up. It's been a while since we've seen Roderick, so why don't you do me a favor? Describe him for the audience. So, Roderick is, you know, he's a dwarf. He looks kind of like how you'd picture a dwarf. He's got a nice big black beard. He's got a couple bits of jewelry and adornments in said beard. Uh, some that's, of it uh, are... Canonically, that's where uh, wedding bands go for dwarves and UEs. Yeah. Uh, namely because he is very happily married to his wife who taught him a good bit and by a good bit, I mean just about everything Roderick knows about you will about working a forge, uh, which is also how Roderick made his money for a majority of his life. Uh, that and the occasional job woodcutting, which is why he loves axes and also throwing axes. Um, he's got. Didn't we say that he might, he used to do like axe throwing tournaments? as part of his backstory i don't think we said he did but honestly that does feel like what he did tracks tracks for him it it tracks especially considering i gave him uh you know throw anything as his main feat yeah Yikes. um <laughs> yeah uh he's got Pretty simple, sturdy, reliable armor. He's got a breastplate, a heavy shield, but his helmet, it doesn't quite match the steel he's wearing because I don't know where he got it, but he's wearing a helmet of toughness. It is not gonna his break wife. on him. His wife gave it his... to him. See, it's been a while since I've played him. I don't remember what he's picked up and what his wife wow. sent him. Because I remember his favorite axe is Gifted Embrace, an axe his wife made and sent to him while he was at war. Uh, the backup axe he uses is the axe of the Profane Crusade, which he got off of Bell the paladin bell the character not the dm so so the, the her official title in in universe is high paladin isabel woodsheart uh of uh uh, uh of moon's reach so normally people just Thank call her you. high paladin he got it off of high paladin uh after you know helping high paladin deal with was it an evil clone, or was it another bout of mind control? It, so, she has a thing where uh, where there is a corrupting influence in her soul, and it, but at the time, it was a mind flayer, in, like an illithid, inside of her, kind of tweaking that evil side to come out. Yeah, it was, uh, like I said, the war. Yeah, the war. <laughs> Yeah. You're um, one of those, uh, the visor red people from Bleach. Yes. Hell yeah. Uh, he also has a third, a third axe, which is his backup backup axe, which is a silvered acid battle axe, which he got from his first job here in, uh... The Dragonlands, here, yeah. Here in the Dragonlands. I was about to say in Wreckford, because it was his first job in Wreckford, but it was also the Dragonlands, because he left Wreckford to finish the job. So he's just got a lot of axes on him. He is sh he is a little short by dwarf standards, and a little stockier than your standard dwarf. But honestly, uh, he also looks like you could have the Minotaur from Greek Myth give him a proper charge, and he would laugh it off. He's built like a brick shithouse. Anyways, that's me. That's uh, 
all I'm going to be able to describe him as until I actually put pen to paper again. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, so, where were we? Uh, up, uh, you uh, arrive uh, and are able to see kind of uh, see uh, this little awakened deer uh, kind of standing there with the, the, the same parchment you have. Uh, as, you know, kind of sitting, uh, Rue, the, the Hall of Blades is a large, open, like, longhouse building with a bar at the back and then market stalls on either side. And above the, like, bar, uh, on a balcony is the office. Where are you, do you think, in this building? Uh, probably, like, sitting at the bar on top of a bar stool that's, like, probably size too large for me. Just like you got a book uh, as, a, yeah. as a as a as a fucking uh, as a, a thing that help you sit up higher a little bit. Yep. Booster seat. And I'm tome. reading a book. Um, yeah, Roderick, you see uh, this little deer sitting at the bar, kind of with the same uh, parchment you have. Uh, as uh, would you approach, or would you wait on the others? Oh, he would absolutely approach, and he wouldn't even try and sneak up, like. Once his footsteps are intentionally He's got boots that jingle jangle jingle. Absolutely. He is intentionally stepping slightly harder on the ground, more to establish presence than to try and sound angry or aggressive. He's just trying and to make just... sure people know he's there. Making sure people know he's there. And the once he's keyboard on the door. Yes. Uh, even though he probably knows where the squeaky board is, because I'm willing to bet the, uh... There's a bunch of squeaky the tavern. boards. This, thing, this, this place is made out of a ship. This place is a squeaky board. <laughs> it is just one giant squeaky board, yeah. Uh, he would... Uh, as he approached, it's just... You know... It ain't exactly all that common, people about our height end up taking jobs it's nice to see someone else of the uh less tall persuasion taking up adventuring i'm glad you remembered that dwarves in my universe have southern accents thank you like oh i mean what is it because we're short <laughs> I've seen a good bit of people who uh, take pride in being a lot taller. Something about better vantage point for archery. Don't know what they're talking about. I can, I can hit one of their arrows about as well with my about throwing my axe than they can standing up on a tree. I mean, I, I guess that works. I throw my shield. And, uh. Is there something to throw it at in here? Yeah, there are targets. Like, there's a little area for, like, people to come and buy firearms in. And there, there's targets. And you're able to, like, throw axes, daggers, darts, whatever. And, uh, Aureus kind of, like, lifts up the shield and just, like, like watch. And then just shucks it, like. Uh, roll me an attack roll, please. Um. Uh... Okay, uh, that will hit the target, yeah. Yeah! And it, it comes back and It hits and the then bounces back like the Captain America shield. But with a face bump. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Roderick gives a bit of a chuckle at the, uh, less than graceful, uh, catch. Well... They're probably a little newer to this than some of the other folks. I'm glad to be able to accompany you. I can't wait to see just how... Can't quite say powerful, because that sounds a bit more conceited than it probably should. Still, I look forward to seeing you grow along in your adventure. Uh, Arias just, like, gives a tiny hoof salute. Yeah. Uh, Roderick will 
return the salute. Uh, it is at this point that either either uh, Tisiphone or uh, or Cho arrive. You guys can roll a D two to figure out which one of you is entering the uh, role I do after. have a determiner on this. Okay. Uh, Cho would would Cho be late? Is my question. Because Tisiphone is walking there, but will not be late. She will be on time. She will walk there and be on time. Mm -hmm. So if you are late, you have flown here and you're late. <laughs> um, actually, let me do a little something. Ah, uh, no, I'll be on time. <laughs> probably okay, a little early. You, you, you like, probably I'm show in... up before me then. But... <gasps> yeah, so, uh, Cho, you are the next one to arrive. Seeing Roderick and this tiny little deer sitting at the bar. You probably got there right about the time the shield was thrown in on at the targets. Huh. Nice throw. Uh since it has been a very long time since we've seen uh Cho, if you wouldn't mind, describe your character for us, please. Okay. Um let me find a picture because I have better time describing them like that. That's understandable. I'm not as well just open her image in my character sheet. Uh, there it is. So, Cho is a. 5'10 woman. Her wingspan is pretty much two and a half times as long as she is tall. Um, Big wings. Yay! She is a... Originally she was a pale um, cyan um, Lunarian tiefling, but nowadays she is very much so grayscaled, um, even if she is regaining some of her original color back. Um, the horn on the top of her head is pitch black and looks pretty much like an onyx crystal or stone. I don't know if it's a crystal. <laughs> uh, it is. It is um, crystal. It is crystalline. Okay. Thank well, I think you. we had um, uh, agreed on it being obsidian, specifically. Oh, obsidian. Thank you very much. Then, yeah, it looks a lot like obsidian. Um, she also looks to be roughly in her 40s, even though she's over 30 millennia old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but nobody um, ages in the shadow, Phil. Oh, excuse me, nobody yeah. ages in the shadow, Phil. <laughs> <gasps> sure. <laughs> Physically ages. <laughs> Nobody physically ages in the shadow. Ah. Uh, wait, I thought it was the opposite. So all no, the your other... body, your body is affected, but you're okay. you do not physically age. Huh. Well, aren't you so... also functionally immortal as a tiefling? Yeah. Um, I thought mm. that tieflings, Lunarian tieflings didn't die of old age. No, you do not. You do not die of old age. But you, uh, so, but, so your body, so your body physically does not, uh, hmm. like, you begin to yeah. feel, feel the age uh, in the mind before your body begins to feel it. But you do begin to God. feel shadow sickness, which is what made you fatigued. Okay, perfect. So, even though she's probably the oldest Lunar and Tiffany around, she doesn't look it. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> um, she looks... She looks like she had a lot more muscle as well, at some point. Um, but now she is slimmed down. There's... Um, very, a lot of wrinkles of fatigue from combat and from just existing in general. Um, but in, but she looks God, to be 
fairly middle-aged, kind of. Um, she also is currently carrying um, her katana and her recently um, recovered wakizashi. Um, she's always wearing a set of, um, what was it again? Um, Oyuroi armor, which uh, if you want a better um, visual, it's the stereotypical heavy armor for samurai. Um, even though she wears a helmet mechanically, she doesn't really wear it um, visually, if you will. Kind of like when you have a video game character wearing a helmet and it the visual is turned off. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but she is always carrying a brief and big um, face mask as well. Alrighty. Uh, um, and do you she... approach? Yeah. She is going to fly down because flying is somehow easier for her. Yeah, no, it <laughs> genuinely is probably easier than walking because it, you had to you had to fly a lot in the Shadowfell to kind of keep yourself from getting tangled up in tension. Dying. Yeah. From dying in general. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So uh, you guys see this, like, near-angelic figure kind of land next to you. Hi. Hello. Well, howdy. Are you here no. for a quest? Yes. Hey, so, uh, just a quick question, because, again, it's been a hot minute since I played Roderick. Has Roderick met and or fought alongside, uh, Cho before? Yes, you fought together in the war. Alright, cool, then. I just had to make sure, because, again, been a hot minute. Fancy meeting you here. Yeah, Andrew, I get it. <laughs> oh, hi, Roderick, right? That's uh, me. How you been? Hi. It's been far too long. Resting, finally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know that feeling. We killed that bitch and now I can nap. <laughs> <gasps> it's more like now I can sit. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. <laughs> Sleep is good. Yeah. Very quiet little deer. What's your name? Uh, Reyes. Nice to meet you. I'm Cho. Um, don't worry about my age. Um, but I'm here to help, if you want. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm kind of new, so, yeah. <laughs> Good to know. If I don't have help, I will probably die, I'm guessing. Well, we're going to make sure that don't stories. happen to you. Yeah, you, we, everyone always needs help. Otherwise, people die, no matter what. Yeah, but, I mean, the the whole town's aware that there's, like, outside of Wreckford, the world kind of sees Wreckford as this kind of crazy place, right? Like, death abound, and but glorious riches, and you can help people, but things can go wrong. Yeah, that's pretty much everywhere. <laughs> Says no. Cho, who hasn't been around for a while. <laughs> there are stories about dragons. And ancient dragons. Not like, well, obviously there's dragons, but like, I mean, you, there's dragons, and then there's dragons. And then ancient dragons. Um, Bell. Question. Since 
It hasn't come up before. Oh, um. Okay. Um. I'm back. If y'all had wait. questions, my apologies. Oh, yeah. I I just have a question right now. Um, okay, what's up? <laughs> question. How common were dragons in general worldwide before Cho got lost? Uh, extremely common. One thing that Cho probably found out after, uh, kind of, while researching what happened, is there uh -huh. was a genocide event against the dragons, uh, by the gnomes. I'm gonna say that, um, she probably saw that and went like, that can't be true. It's fucking dragons. I snuck Plus, up on them while they were asleep. Plus, Thorin Hellqueen would have done something about it, right? It's very George Washington of them. <laughs> one other thing, one other thing that that Cho mm -hmm. probably would have found out, which is common historical knowledge, there was a period of time while where the gods were locked in a tower and unable to help mm. the world as a result of the gods' war. Then, in that case, um, as a response, um, wait, how many dragons died? Like, are they not even a rare sight outside of the Dragonlands? So, essentially, wait. essentially what it is. No. Oh, you're in, in no, that, okay. That was in character because okay. dragons came up. I've never seen a dragon. Wait. What do you mean you've never seen a dragon? I've I've never seen a dragon. Like the... a living dragon, quote unquote. I've seen bones. Uh, the only current living dragon in on the mainland is uh, mm -hmm. hidden, away from view. Yeah. <laughs> but I. It, regardless of what Cho learned from books and people, she is still having a hard time believing that there's not that they've released like a couple twenty dragons around in the entire world, other than um, the so, dragons. So, uh, for for um, for uh, Aster, you would know that. Dragons are common in the Dragonlands, and they are very common in uh, in um, uh, Zima. But on the main continents, they stick; they stay far away. There is rumor that there is a dragon under Montalibe, but no one knows that's true. If that's true. So yeah, never seen a dragon, but you guys have stories coming out of here that there's dragons, and you guys killed them, and that a lot of you died to them, and that what? things are basically hell on earth, but like, get that money, honey, on earth. <laughs> oh. huh. And by earth, I mean like the dirt. That we're on, not, yeah. not the name of the planet. Yeah. As the like, hells manifest into the prime material plane. <laughs> yeah. The the good the in way the in universe way to say that. Yeah. You see that Cho is having a very hard time processing that so many dragons died, <laughs> regardless of what she's learned. <laughs> um, so, one thing that probably, mm -hmm. uh, if, if, if Cho kind of picked, picked up an elementary level history book, uh, essentially yeah. what Cho would have learned at this point is that there are efforts to bring dragons back to the mainland. They just instinctively migrate away from it. Um, so, likely, even if there are more dragons mm. than people think there are, they don't live 
on the main continent. Um, Midland does not yeah. have very many dragons. Cardamom has a good bit, but nobody really yeah. sees them because Cardamom is a massive desert. Um, there are, you know, if you spoke to the cat folk, you'd get a lot of, yeah, we see gold and brass dragons all the time under the sand. Uh, they snatch up giant scorpions from underneath, you know, as they as they kind of come up out of the, the sand and, and you get massive jaws just coming up and snapping them closed. And then the only, like, real common dragon on Midland is Ignis the Everburning. He lives within the mountain of Hammerholm and uh, it can often be seen leaving uh, and coming to the Dragonlands and then going back. Because Ignis fears no one, and ne nor should he. <laughs> now, keep in mind, the main reason I'm saying that she's having a hard time wrapping her head around this knowledge is her base ability scores of both intelligence and wisdom having a minus one. <laughs> that totally makes sense. It's not that um, it's not that that she can't go. It's not that she uh, doesn't understand yeah, that this the, is a thing. It's that she's she dumb. needs some time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. Like she's she was like, ah, it's surely not that bad. Or, nah, it, they're dragons. They're strong as hell. What the hell could have happened? <laughs> Trixie little gnomes. This yeah, is why, this is why um, the knights went to war. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so it would be probably around this period of time, as you guys are discussing this, that Tisiphone would probably enter the enter the building. Oh yeah, being the last one there. Um, would you please Actually, describe like... describe the matron if possible? Yeah, the wizard is uh, never absolutely. late. <laughs> I arrived exactly on time, and only just barely. Uh, so Tisiphone is a Nagaji, which is like a Yuanti, only apparently much older in the context of this world. Yes. Uh, there are no others of her kind, so she is kind of the only this version of Snake that most people see. Uh, and upon her first introduction to most... Uh, places in this town, especially just the, I assume this is the Wreckford uh, Hall of Blades? Yeah, this is the Hall of Blades. Then yeah, she'll be she'll be wearing her uh, Gorgon mask, which is uh, it seems to be handmade and it is depicting uh, a very specific Gorgon. Uh, it would be Cassiopeia's Medusa form. Uh, she wears black robes and uh, either is carrying a uh, parasol or has a uh, grass hat in any time. Currently, it is a parasol. Uh, she carries a lot of chains around on her hips uh, and like a, a scythe, like a sickle, I mean. Uh, but beyond that, she's m mostly unarmed, I believe. It's just the one sickle and a bunch of chains. I thought we had given her a Conobo as well, but uh, that might be a different character. Uh, she was looking for one, but I don't think that was ever the thing that happened. She was looking for one, not for her, but for Club. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Club got one. You gave Club the Conobo. Cool. I remember I didn't Club getting that, it. Uh, that whole con I didn't... I don't actually remember that, so I think that might be a thing that you have thought of, but I don't remember that being no, played out it was at a, all. Because it was a Conobo... I don't even remember the negotiations even finishing is the thing so was, I don't know how that happened it was a Kanabo made for the wind god if you'll recall I believe I gave him a sword that was that I was told was taken from him later on uh, a Kanabo was given in exchange ah that was not told to me until just this moment <laughs> well, I thought I had my apologies no worries uh, but yeah she's got a, a sickle and mostly chains that she carries around. Uh, the, she used to be much greener than she is, but she is kind of just a pale, weird little snake. Awesome. Uh, and I'm assuming you will also approach the group. Yeah, she'll she'll head in and kind of like eye the place, not really familiar with most of these people. 
and will like kind of be uncomfortable kind of carrying her uh whatever piece of paper she had been able to procure for yeah, the quest it's, itself it's and... like the little uh little ad ad reels uh you can peel off of uh like uh things in, on college boards yeah she'll she'll take one of those and we'll probably seeing Cho will head over and be like hey is this a uh, I got a stick quest I got the stick uh, yeah that's the one <laughs> yeah um as as you guys are kind of uh gathering um you see a uh a um man a half elven man uh approach with uh blue hair uh, give me one second. I gotta get a, a description of this. Ooh, man. is it is it blue hair in the dragon killer kind of way, or? Uh, give me one second. Uh, yeah, he's killed a few dragons. I uh, see. He likes to take their wings as his prize. Oh, and... it's Silas. <laughs> yeah, this is Silas. Uh, I just have to find his fucking character sheet so I can describe. I kind him of forgot characters. he had blue hair. Yeah, Silas Surely. has blue hair. Has Cho met Silas before? Uh, yes. Cho has met Silas. I do believe. Huh. I mean, at the very least for noir stuff. Yeah. Where the fuck is Silas's character sheet? Is so it there he is. Tiny, probably. Oh, he does not have blue hair. I was wrong. I was mistaking Silas with the cat boy. Uh, so, um... <laughs> He does a have different character rugs played. The no, yeah, just rugs in general. That is that's that's who I was, uh, I was uh, describing was just rugs. So he's a uh, half elven man. He's wearing uh, plate armor, long brown hair, uh, larger ears than a, a typical half elf would have. And he kind of pulls out a piece of paper and goes, "So uh, you folks are the ones that the Explorers Guild is uh, is paying to head into Old Pelletia." I so? believe so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just know that that place was uh, fucking infested with uh, with with like demons before and and like vines before uh, myself and Arcadia and a few others uh, cleared out the the dragon and the demon. Um, so it might have there might be uh, some some monsters around there. Uh, we did spot, uh, we, a couple of our scouts, uh, spotted, uh, a, uh, group of hobgoblins dressed in togas going down into the hole that is in the woods. We don't know what that's about. If you guys could go and investigate that for us, we'd be really grateful. A general investigation quest, then? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it, essentially, um, if you could, if they're da a dangerous cult, uh, if you could it, make sure that they're not a cult anymore, uh, or allowed to do their activities, we'd be greatly oh, appreciative. Also something about historical artifacts. Uh, yeah, so that is a historical site. Uh, there was at one point a, uh, kingdom that was there. Uh, we don't know much about it because it was old, um, and and not really much information was known. We we met the the high priest there at one point, but that was a very long time ago. So uh, uh, really, yeah. Um, when we first established Reckford, uh, the high priest and a few of their warriors were kind of being kept alive by the vine beast that was below. Um, and since the Vine Beast is dead, they are now dead. So. Did this High Priest have a name? Uh, not that I can remember, but we'll have to. We could research it and figure it out. No worries. Uh, so, do any of y'all. Uh, Roderick, you work here, so uh, you get free. You get free reign of the, the storage mm -hmm. closet. Uh, and it, yes. There's my internet stop. Okay. I think I just heard if my internet I'm stopped. I'm no longer lacking. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay. What was your question? You cut off at uh, if my internet stopped. Would. Okay. Um. Would Cho have known what this place would have been? Would Cho have spent much time in the Dragonlands before uh, the Gods War? Um. Especially knowing that so. Tethala is... doesn't play fire. Yeah, I was about to say, ju ju especially being that Tethala's, um, like, city itself is in Cardamom. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Cho doesn't, in general, like fighting, even though she's clearly very good at it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, probably not. Then... Most of what you know is that this was a, uh, a theocracy. You would have known that they worshipped a mm -hmm. god. You can't really remember which. Um, and that it was the seat of a po of power for one of the gods. You Again, can't remember which. The Dragonlands were the seat of, pow mm -hmm. of power for a few gods. So you don't really know which one it was. Mm -hmm. Which is just going to assume that everyone else knows already. <laughs> so, uh, Cho. Mm hmm. This job is kind of jump change. What got you interested in it? Um, the young one. Well, everyone's young in comparison, but still, the new one. Um,. Plus, it's good for rest. It's good you know? for rest. It's good for rest. Traveling and exploring and investigating. And possibly wiping out a cult. You know, all in a day's, day's work for a rest. Listen, it's not like I spent 30,000 years fighting and flying. Yeah. It must be leisurely for you now. Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> she says, looking for a chair. <laughs> uh, yeah, there, there's a chair. That. There are bar stools right in front of you. They have like backs to them, so you can, you can sit. Rajak, I believe you were offered to investigate a storage closet. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Roderick, you have free reign to the Hall of Blades storage room, which has, like, health potions and uh, potions of speed and things of that nature. Basic stuff. We're going to make great use of that, don't you worry. Uh, there are also grenades in there. Wait, there's what now? Grenades. I'll take one. Since when have we uh, had grenades? Uh, since we employed Miss Malady to make them. Uh, you know, she is she is a good uh, Red is a real good crafter, so I'll Huffy, say she's she knows what she's doing. Huffy, when you get a, mo a moment, uh mark down uh seven thousand gold pieces in the <laughs> in the uh the Ratwell coffers. Yeah, you got it. Uh she would have she would have been uh commissioned for seven thousand gold pieces worth of stardust bombs. Stardust bombs are made for like <laughs> clearing out uh, monster nests and uh, oh. and disorienting the undead. Yeah, she mm. can do that. Uh, so uh, that's what that's what uh, that's that's the kind of grenade that you have. Uh, these grenades do one d six one d six radiant damage uh, when they explode, and they also. Uh, require a DC 13 will save or da or, or the uh, target is dazzled for three turns. I think uh, Tosifity is going to at first like reach to take it and then like stop and then be like, mm, you, you know, I never mind. Uh, they are not strong <laughs> enough to affect a vampire. Okay. Good thing no one hears a vampire. <laughs> yeah, no, vampires are just really strong undead. Like, they can affect zombies, ghosts, but they can't affect vampires. <laughs> yeah, like, even in the turn on death table for yeah. basic fantasy, they're... Super fucking high. 
Like, they wouldn't do anything to a lich, either. All the way at the end. Yeah. But, like, if you're dealing with, like, yeah. basic undead, Maybe that's what these, these, what these are for. Oh, and by the way, actually, Cho would probably recognize uh, if uh, Tissifty was looking a little different, I imagine. Oh, she has a constant death watch. She's looking super fucking healthy, and her features are much sharper than they ever used to be. Oh. So she is thriving, whatever she's doing. It must be some kind of moisturizer. <laughs> moisturizer. Sure. Uh, so, moisturizer. So you can take... You can, you can mark down um, four potions of speed, uh, four potions of cure light wounds... <laughs> And four potions of heal. Um, potions of heal just do a flat five HP. They are uh, they are um, uh, like a basic uh, like a, a basic homebrew item that I made. Can I get a potion of heal? But it's spelled H E E L. Just turns your alignment from from uh, whatever good or neutral you are to evil. <laughs> and then we gotta get a baby face potion. They sell those at Trog Shop. Mm. Hell yeah. <laughs> that is a thing that is sold in Trog Shop. Oh, um, but yeah, and then you can get six of the, uh, the Stardust are... Bombs. Six? I was going to ask for five, but six? <gasps> we only, we, yeah. <laughs> one funny oh, thing. Oh, you do one know how much I love about high yield explosives and mid yield one explosives. Uh, Benny, you were saying? One funny thing I... Yeah, one thing, funny thing I want to say about Cho and her only interaction with Trog. Uh-huh. Um, to Cho, Trog is just a blacksmith. Yeah, yeah, because Cho does not realize that Trog is a god. We're both older than Trog. Yeah. Only by a few years. Yeah. You're only older than Trog by a few years. I mean, we're both hey. longer lived races, even before the whole uh, <laughs> time violation. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, when Trog was, Trog was a an adult when the when the when the uh, the gods war broke out, and B yeah, but was an, an older goblin. goblin. Yeah, but a goblin nonetheless. Goblins are very short lived. In standard uh in standard pathfinder yes uh in uh, ue's they are fey creatures and live for a very long time so this is one yeah. of those i've gone through space of time kind of situations so. yes yes it is <laughs> either way Trey's just going to call everyone young young you whippersnapper unless they were older when she got trapped in the shadow fell <laughs> Uh, Youngster. Cho likely would not have known who Gatlock was. Who? Uh, the Gatlock, exactly. the fucking god of the sun. Yeah, nope. yeah. The yeah. Sun. <laughs> Here come, yeah, Symphony, uh, Symphony hears that song and, uh, and is just like, oh, oh, that guy's an asshole. I've met the sun. <laughs> met the sun. A little too bright for my tastes. What do you mean you've met the sun? The sun is up there. And she points to the sky. For uh, now. <laughs> so, one thing that, that uh, whoever, Roderick specifically might know, uh, Gatlock spends most of his time in the in the Midnight Lantern, the tavern, or the, uh, the, the cafe, with his adopted daughter. So, literally, the sun is just over there on the other side of town. Uh, yeah, Roderick's the sun's in the bakery. Over points to where the midnight lantern is and just sure the uh the sun may be up there but the guy who owns the sun is you know about if over you, there if you look at the midnight lantern he is sitting in a cardigan on the like porch of the midnight lantern with a cup of tea and a uh, like a, a plate full of cookies Wait, the what time god is of it? the sun what time is it uh, I would say yeah. I would say it's like around, uh, uh, around like noon ish, 
You see, he's kind of Dude. moving his finger as the sun get as the as the the sun gets higher. These parties never want to travel at night. Okay, so it's lunchtime. Yeah, right about. Uh, hang on. I'm fine with traveling at night. Nothing. Uh, I I was just curious because I guess I'll order some lunch. I mean, leaving on an empty stomach doesn't doesn't seem doesn't seem smart. Speaking of, uh. I remember there was a mention of a never empty canteen. Yeah, you you just gotta go by the uh, um, the explorers guild. Okay, I take Sophia it that'll be after, it. or is the explorers guild closer to our destination? Uh, the explorers guild is in Reckford. It's like across town from where you are now. And will we be returning to there, or are we going to pay them a visit before we leave? I mean, I have mine, uh, Arrayus. Like... Uh, Arrayus, you were given the ones to hand out to the party. Oh. Oh. My bad. I... Since you are the representative of the Explorer's Guild. These are just really thin, and I thought this stack was a single container. Oh. They're plastic solo cuffs. Red solo cuff? Yeah. Uh, I mean, as... that worked. <laughs> As you are, uh, as you guys begin like talking, uh, a young man uh, with pale features, uh, a set of bronze chainmail, and he's carrying a spear. Kind of set the spear down on the bar and go. I heard someone say they needed lunch. Is this Decker? Like phrases. Uh, no, this is not Decker. Uh, is this a vampire? He's a dampier. Okay, so I do. So does it? give off the sensors like the spidey sensey yes. thingy? Yes, it does. Okay. So, as do I I, the player, have an idea as to who this is. I know my character would not. So, uh, you, Roderick works for the Hall of Blades. This is one of the pre-made yeah. characters that I made recently that are all Hall of Blades members. Mm. This okay. is, uh, this, his name uh, is, uh, is this his particular... His name is Jampier Cleric. Yeah, currently that's what it says in the in the pre-made sheet. But uh his like <laughs> default name is Zane X Y A N E. Um and he'll just kind of go, "What would you like for me to get you?" Uh y'all have eggplant? We do. We do. It's grown naturally here by our druids in the um in uh, at, at the mayor's residence or uh, the governor's residence. You have, uh, is it cheese? What kind? Whatever cheese goes good on a grilled eggplant. We have mozzarella, pepper we have jack. provolone, we have pepper jack, we have, uh, and, and he just starts listing cheeses. Brie, we have, uh, blue cheese, we have goat cheese. Um, more? You got more cheeses? He just like pulls out a menu and slides it to you. The governor is very, very uh, particular about her cheeses. Oh, what a shame. I thought you would have given me more cheese names. Gouda. Oh, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, sharp cheddar. Yes, yes. That, thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. We've got about sharp cheddar. We've got mild and medium cheddar. We've got a white cheddar that comes from uh, this place with lots of maple leaves. It's wonderful, wonderful. Okay. Uh, We've got, um, we've got a, uh, a, uh, Romano. The ma, of course. Uh, yes. <laughs> we've got uh -huh. a Romano cheese. We've got a Parmesan cheese. We've got, uh, -huh. uh we've got, uh, let's see. What else? What other cheeses do we have? You know, like, <laughs> ru start rummaging through this drawer, like, pulling out these big, uh, like, wheels of cheese. We've got Bergamon cheese. We've got, uh -huh. um, we've <clears> got <throat> Munster cheese. We've got... Monster oh. cheese. Good things about eggplant and parmesan. All right, I will get you some eggplant parm. Would you like some Romano with it? They often pair well, Romano and parmesan. Uh, sure. Oh, we also have mozzarella. That's another one we have. Do you have Rockford? Mm. It's actually currently being made. You'd have to go ask the druids, but yes, we do. Oh, what a shame. That's the one I want. <laughs> 
<laughs> we can come back for that, probably. No, no, I don't actually like Jesus. Yeah. It's oh. a bit. <laughs> it's the bit. Uh, you see the Dampier like glare at you. Yeah, she's she's going to smile back. Do you know how annoying that was? Oh, I could have made it so much worse. Anyway, I will get you your eggplant parmesan. Anyone else want anything to eat? I'll have a, uh... Uh, he sort of picks up... He, uh... Roderick picks up the menu and starts flipping through it. Um, what is... What is the UE... What is the Reckford equivalent to a Reuben? A uh, Reuben. All right. <laughs> Uh, corned beef, uh, corned beef, and sauerkraut are a thing it, that have it, been invented. Instead of spelling it R U E B N, it's W R. Yep. Well then, I'll have the uh, well, Reuben. The W is silent. Ah. And what kind of cheese would you like on your uh, your Reuben? You almost said a Reuben, didn't you? What? Never mind. Uh, I'll, have, uh, I'll have Swiss on it, please. Assuming that's Understood. the Yes, yes, we have, we have some. Um, Lord Alfred Swiss invented it, so. Ah. Uh, very clever. <laughs> and uh, and and he'll like uh, begin cooking. Uh, anyone else? Um, Lady Cho, you do look a little, a little tired. Would you like some coffee? Uh, sure. Uh, question. What yes. is cheese? Cheese is a... Uh, Arrayus at this looks absolutely flabbergasted. It is it's milk that's product... old as you are. Kind of, yes. Wait a minute. It's as old as I am? It's very tasty. Yeah, we do, we do have some older cheeses. Uh, this blue cheese has been around since right around the end of the Gods' War. It's a fantastic year. It pairs very good with wine. Uh, sure, I'll try it. Uh, and she will, he'll like slice you, uh, like wedge of blue cheese. And he'll like make a charcuterie board mm -hmm. with different cheeses. And like, he'll, he'll like yeah. melt some brie and stuff. Or, and, some, and like, and, and give you like fondue, uh, fond, like fondue vegetables. And then he'll also make like homemade tortilla chips. And make uh, and mm -hmm. make melted cheese for the that goes along with those. In both yellow and white varieties. She takes out her food knife um, and pokes the cheese. It, it's cheese. And it has the consistency just, of cheese. It's and it's stuck to her knife. Yes. And how do you eat this? You just take a bite. It's very good. Um, she bites the knife. <laughs> Not the knife. The, the, yeah, bite. the knife with the cheese. Yeah, uh, yeah. And it, uh, which cheese did the she cheese sample knife. first? Um, the melted one. Okay. Uh, so um, it's got a real snotty texture, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it's it's very tasty though. It is very a very tasty cheese. Now, Bell question. Yes. With I did not expect team. this to, to, to uh, degenerate into cheese, but I'm happy that it has. <laughs> Bell, would the gene either. for lactose to tolerance exist before the creation of cheese? Uh, I would say that yes, because milk was very often given to soldiers. Okay, perfect. Then she does not need to roll a 42 save. <laughs> no. No, milk was very often given as a form of, like, sustenance for, to keep soldiers kind yeah. of on their feet. <laughs> uh, and this I'm... particular cheese that you sampled was a very salty cheese. So, mm -hmm. uh, and, like, this was probably the last, the only time you've ever really probably ever had cheese is during the God's War in your rations. 
Yeah, and she probably did not even know what the fuck it was. Yeah, and so you're like, huh, I've had this before. What the fuck is this? What did you call this? It again? is cheese. That is cheese. So that's what I ate all those years ago. What was the battle again? Um, Wear Guild, I think. Goodness. Um, we recently retook that city. Uh, that's where we found the recipe for bergamot cheese. Huh. There's a whole mountain of burger. Mountain <laughs> of burger. Uh, well, technically, um, there, there is, uh, in, if you go to, uh, to, um, Hammer Home, they have this restaurant there that makes the mountain burger. And it's this, ma and he'll, like, uh, pull out this artist's rendering of the mountain burger. And it's this massive fucking cheeseburger. Horrifying. <gasps> well, that sounds delicious. I should probably now, just get there one day. Now I'm imagining Cho in the background trying all the different cheeses mm. and then trying them with different things. Being extremely confused, but liking all of it. Hell yeah. yeah. He, like, points to the tortilla chips. Try those ones. And then also, you can also try it in this, and he'll slide over some homemade salsa and salsa <laughs> verde. And just go, yeah. try it in those as well. And we have some guacamole here, and he'll kind of slide that over. Are yeah. they gluten-free? Um, well, yes, I think. What's, what's the tortilla what made of? Well, so, funny thing. Maize, maize is 100% gluten free. Uh, yeah, that's that's what the tortilla chips are made of in, in Wreckford. Because maize is then one yeah. of the things that grows naturally in the Dragonlands. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Uh, the drag <laughs> So the Dragonlands, the things that grow naturally in the Dragonlands also are a lot of what grows naturally in Mexico. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's kind of the what the culture was, like, food-wise in the Dragonlands. Fun thing about, funny thing about ma maize... It's 100% impossible to find wild mice. Yes. But yeah, thank you. <laughs> One second. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Cho is just in the background, just confused out of her mind, but loving every second of it. <laughs> I'm probably Ooh. baffling anyone that's been around for any amount of time. Uh, the Dampier will just kind of go, Do not worry, you are not the only one who's ever come in here and asked what cheese was. Um, I am also quite... I don't look it, but I'm also quite old. I've experienced people from the time around the Gods' War who've come in and asked for things and not really known what was on the menu. That's why I am more than ready, and he'll, like, glare at Siphony, more than ready to, um, to explain and express what things are. Mm hmm. Um, and then Cho starts asking about things that are most likely either extremely hard to get nowadays or just straight up extinct because time and nature. Uh, like what? What do you, what would you think that she'd be asking about? Um... Probably about um, Garum, for example, that it's no longer made IRL because of how fucking stinky it is. <laughs> well, there are places you can get it. Um, the troglodytes, they make it. It's very, oh. it smells very bad, but there is a village of troglodytes to the south of us. If you are really interested in it, we can order you some and see how much the troglodytes charge the Hall of Blades to acquire it for you. Yes, thank you. All right. Anything else? We can um, also I... technically get dinosaur meat. It's a little harder. We have to hire an outside hunter. Arcadia's not that expensive. She likes to hunt. It's... We just have to find her on a day where she's not doing things. I can hunt, hunt my own dinos. That's no big deal. Well, I mean, if you're already on a quest and you wanted to eat something you returned, we figured we could probably get it happen. 
make it happen, and he'll yeah. like he'll like look around and go, "Does anyone know where where Arcadia of the Maya is?" Did somebody say fight? Uh, and he just goes, "Yes, fight!" Fucking bullhorn smash through the wall, and then it actually kind of gets stuck. So she she has to pull them out and then walk through the actual door. I. Uh, I was imagining just that Luffy scene in Water 7 where <laughs> sure. he's stuck in between two windows <laughs> in the wall. So, uh, Miss Arcadia, I'm, I would like to long. I would like to con contract you to hunt down some dinosaur meat for us. Oh, sure. Do you have a preference of the dinosaur? And she'll like, he'll like look over at Cho. Triceratops is really yummy. Whatever you think is best. And he'll just set down bad. ten oh. platinum pieces. However much this Sold. will get us. You got it. And and she'll take the ten platinum pieces and we'll head off into the woods. <laughs> just, just Arcadia. <laughs> time to go kill some time. Time to go make <laughs> myself the reason dinosaurs are extinct. <laughs> Shall I roll uh, survival? Uh, at this point... What is your taking 10 for Arcadia for Survival? 20. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, you can go ahead and roll if you'd like. Sure. Alright. Oh. Uh, let's see what you got. A 14. Uh, yeah, so, so you're able to... So Arcadia, I would say, uh, one of the things that I like She couldn't to do, find her way back. Yeah, Arcadia probably got lost on the way back, because... Uh, you got plenty of dinosaur meat. You just have no fucking idea where you are. You end up uh, not at Wreckford, but back at Ware Guild, because that's where the dinosaurs are. God, it's <laughs> she, that meant sorrow. She's she's literally <laughs> carrying two fucking triceratopses over her shoulder. She's looking around like, where the fuck? Where's Wreckford? <laughs> which which way was home again? <laughs> of that way, I walks to the shore. Yeah. <laughs> um, ask, ask someone for directions goes the opposite direction. Yeah. You don't want to go east. Fucking. Cool. Head straight north into the ocean. <laughs> straight north from where Guild is the Ever the Everfall Mountains. Huh. Arcadia is ever falling now. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, the Dampier goes. My apologies. She'll be back eventually with that. Good to know. Now, another thing that was hard to get either way um, back then. Do you have Sylphium? You like pull out a book and start looking at looking for it. What was that? Sylphium. No, but what what was it? What kind of? Um, a yellow flower that grows in the wild. You like flip and flip and flip and flip and go. There is one place that it grows. Okay. Um, but it's in Jaeger, which is straight north across the sea from us. Giant country. Good to know. Yes, giant country. Good to know. But it still exists. Because IRL, it's fully full extinct. Blown extinct. Yes. <laughs> so are Siberian tigers, <laughs> and uh, and they exist within your east. Tell me, did that kingdom of the small end up surviving after all these years? Yes, they did. Um, their their leader, the king, um, pissed off the the um, the uh, goddess of uh, of law and an order, uh, fairy, and um, well, they're not very prosperous right now, but they'll they'll get back there eventually. Let's see. Question. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry for, I'm sorry for asking this every time a goddess mentioned. But was fairy around? No. So the gods that Fairy's were around, new. the gods that were around when Cho uh -huh. was around, were Tevelian, mm -hmm. Titanus, mm -hmm. Priscilla, uh, Malachar, Helios, uh, Thorin Hell three. Queen. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting that. Thorin Hell Queen, no. uh, Cassiopeia. And, uh, and, um, and, uh, Tortoli. Her goddess. And also her goddess. Yeah, and Tethal. Teth it was just those eight. 
If Cethala was there, Kiara was too, right? Yes, and Kiara, but Kiara... Kiara bounced from the Prime Material Plane before the gods were started. Otherwise, it okay, would not have lasted sense. as long as it did. Yeah, that makes sense. She took the Oni, made her own dimension, and left. <laughs> Good way to be, honestly. Hmm? Just like cheese. Pluto's <laughs> fairy. Uh, she's one of the, the ascended gods, so one of the newer gods. She's some oh. kind of fae. No, that's just her name. It's just it. her name. Uh, if you'd like, I can give you a book that has all of the newer ones in it for you older folks. Yeah. You'll kind of reach under and hand you a... Uh, it's it, it, On the front, it says Extreme Teen Bible. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, these are these are our pamphlets for all the newer gods. Uh, it's for the, the uh, children to learn. They're helpful for more aged folks like you. Thank you. Dementia. You're a senile. To, to <laughs> Tiffany trying to make fun of Joe, who is also the same age. <laughs> You're a good young one. Fuck you. I'm not that much younger than you. You're still young. Fair. Well, younger. I've only been around about a millennia less than you, so... So you were born after I was gone? A little bit, yes. I was still around during the Gods' War, but I was... It was a minute. You a had... wee baby. Yes, at the time. <laughs> uh, and the, the Dampier does not show any, like, uh... Any, like, Asian. shame... No, shame in the fact that he was very young. Oh. He was very young when that yeah. happened. I did not get my chance to fight in the Great War, but now I fight for the people today. Uh, speaking of fighting, I do believe you folks have a cult to go and kill. Oh, right. <laughs> and, right, right. Sorry about that. And I, I want to imagine that Choke turns to see everyone waiting for the both old ladies. <laughs> but we're here very happy just chatting. <laughs> yeah. Tisiphony didn't even order it. I think she's just sitting here having a good time. <laughs> that that sound was the, the guy pouring a wine into a glass. By oh, the way, it... I did have a question actually about yes. the never ending um beverage container. Yes. Uh can I fill it with anything and have it refilled? Yes, you can. As long cool. as it is as long as it is a liquid that comes naturally from the prime material plane. Easy peasy. Um, that sounds dangerous. It, it looks like a V8. It's not a V8. <laughs> so I, I was trying to very subtly uh, say, no, you can't have blood. Oh, that's on the prime material plane. The fuck are you talking it's about? Not, you get it out of people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, on a prime material plane. actually occurring. And it's a liquid... the fuck? I mean, by that logic, then you can't have juice either. No, because... By <laughs> this logic, we should also be able to have maple syrup in these cups. But yes, you can have maple yeah. syrup. I'm so messing with you. Why not blood? Maple syrup is just processed <laughs> plant blood. Uh... That's exactly what my blood is. <laughs> Fine, yes. We are you can having have, them. You can money. have blood. Yes, you can have blood. These are these are the sessions I fucking live for, y'all. I do not mind if you guys do not get to the dungeon tonight. I just like that you guys are actually role playing for once. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean for once? What? I spent entire sessions in character. Yeah. It's been Granted, a minute for me since. Is usually having a panic attack, but still. It's, it's been a minute for me since you guys have since, since I've experienced you guys just enjoying role playing for a solid <laughs> hour. Aureus <laughs> has definitely curled up into a ball and started napping. <laughs> I think the dick tick has fallen asleep. Yes, little, little the little deers is uh, they tend to do that. Um, watch this and uh, the the uh, the um. Dampier will just very lightly tap on the on the wood. Not l super loud, but loud enough. And jump. 
yeah, the well, your jumps out of there, out of the, out of the bar stool. Good morning, Sleeping Beauty. Are they? Are they done? They are ready to go. I'm done what? What time is it? Um. To go. It's almost he'll, midnight. He'll like, he'll like check his watch. You are. It's been four hours. It's about so five. Four hours. And we did nothing. It's about five <laughs> p.m. Right around sun sunset. <laughs> oh, excellent! Now's oh. the perfect time to leave. <laughs> Okay. Um, Matron to Siphony, uh, yeah. before you leave, if, if all of you could just step, you know, and he kind of shoes you away. Oh, a private conversation. Uh, yes. Um, I was informed to give you this, and he'll uh, offer who? you an amulet. Um, a... an interested party. Not good enough. I am, by contract, bound to not be able to tell you. Contract with whom? Contract with my employer, whom I am not allowed to disclose. Your employer of this building, or no. a more fiendish nature? Ha not fiendish, more ancient. But, um, again, I'm not allowed to give any more detail than that. I don't like that. I am sorry. I am. If, it, it will literally cause me physical pain if I tell you. Demon God. Ask your employee uh, employer space. nicely. Can I roll intimidate? <laughs> uh, yeah, you can. Um... <laughs> Are you just the old lady asking for the manager? Yeah. So <laughs> you get a blank exp like his his face goes blank, uh, as if he is becoming he's now mind controlled. Uh, and several voices come out of his mouth. Uh, oh, God. We are the contingent for vampire kind. We are his employers, and he is not allowed to explain who we are or reveal our names. We came to give so you the Sunwalker amulet. Interesting. So you're either a conglomerate of vampires or... You're like a mind flare nest pretending to be a vampire? We are a conglomerate of vampires. Okay. Sure. <laughs> and she'll check out the I mean, I'm making sure it's actually what they say. Uh, is it? Uh, roll Arcana. Knowledge Arcana. Good at that. Alright. Yeah, it, as so far fun. as you are aware, it does what it, they, it says on the tip. <laughs> Very well. Thank you. I don't know how you know of me, but I'll find out. Many, many rumored whispers. You do know I hear those whispers, right? Uh, yes. We are aware. We have okay. the same abilities you do. I don't think you do, because some of those are not vampire abilities. <laughs> Stairs. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> you think you are the only one that, have pra that has practiced the, in, those, in the arts of information gathering. It's more of, um, the more you talk shit about me, the more I hear you. It's... Yes. We know. Okay. So keep the shit talking to a minimum. <laughs> <laughs> um, Huffy, uh, you as the player, uh, would know that Katza has that same ability. Cool. Katza does not have my classes, I don't think. Uh, Katza has a lot of conglomerated abilities now that she's a god. Yeah, that's fair. So. I think one... that actually comes with its own little perks. Yeah, exactly. Of like, <laughs> gods can kind of hear their own name being said no matter it's where like you are. Prayer, it doesn't have yeah. to be within, like, the, I think, 500 mile radius that yeah. I can hear my name from. Yes. There, Maybe Katza, yeah. 900. Katza's is is prayer, and that's you know she can hear, and she get her whole thing is the black hand. They they gather information on new vampires. 
Gotcha. I, I assume she doesn't know that, though. No. Tiffany, that is. Tiffany does not know that, okay. unless she has studied other vampires as of late. Hell no, she has not. <laughs> uh, but All right, yeah. y'all ready to go? Yeah. It's already... It's starting to get to night. Um, Good. Yeah. It's time Rolling. to travel, I'd say. Time to mosey on. Yeah. Uh, would Less you guys... likely to find a well-rested brigand that way. Uh, would you guys like to um, rent a cart, or are you going on foot? Out to the party. I'd say rent a cart. Okay. Uh, the yeah, logic Roderick would be using was... Uh, uh, and I qu would it be something similar to, and I quote, let's make sure that the newbie has the uh, proper adventure and experience. See a little bit of expenditures to make life easier and, you know, give them the best chance of success. Hmm. You know, you have a good point. And she turns to look at the at, um, your character, Rube, and she will be like, Hey, do you want to fly? Uh, Arius kind of looks down at themselves like, I'm a deer. I'm not yeah. a bird. Or dragon. Okay, so I'm going to take that as a no. So yeah, we should get a cart. Definitely was not going to carry you <laughs> flying. Could you, ask it and you can carry us all. Uh, no, she can't. <laughs> oh, surely you're strong enough. I, mean, I am small. <laughs> but. Was, was that an offer? <laughs> not anymore. Okay. I mean, I could carry you just fine. But I cannot fly. <laughs> uh, my option would have been to walk. Uh, okay. But we could get a cart. Is does this job cart? does this job pay enough to afford a cart? Uh, yeah, carts carts are relatively inexpensive in Wreckford. Um, they're pulled by axe beaks instead of horses. Huh. Did we get the gold pay? Or is it just the, the fancy cups? You get half up front. Ah, 25 gold. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you can absolutely get a cart um, uh, if if you guys want to. Um, other than that, uh, it's it's five it's five gold for a cart and an axe beak for a week. How about to keep the cart? Uh, to keep the cart and the axe beak, or just the cart? Well. Uh, to buy an axe beak is about 30 gold pieces, and the cart's about 15. So 45 to keep? Yep. It's not so bad. Yeah, fuck it, I'll do it. Okay. Hey, Crow, what's the, the clicking noise? I did not realize I was unmuted. I'm sorry. Sounds like barbecue tongs. It does. <laughs> yeah, tongs. Just like clicky clacking. Making sure uh, it's work. actually a really cheap hole punch that I'm just fiddling with because it's got a little loop on one of the handles. Yeah. And so I've, I've just been using that as like a fidget toy because I just don't know where I left my good deck of cards. <laughs> Would you like to share mm. with the class? <laughs> Would I like to share... The hole puncher? Yes. Did you bring enough hole punches for the class? <laughs> you know what? I, I probably... No, I didn't. <laughs> I only have the one, and you'll have to pry it for my cold dead hands. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you guys can get on the road. Uh, I need. I need you guys to roll me... Uh, and travel, which is a 1d100, 
and uh, a D12 for random encounter. Holy shit, Holy Rube. fucking shit. I'll do the D12. Hey, Woo. I'm both excited and scared. All right. Um, that is a large fucking Mac. What the hell? It's very pretty. Wait, is that why you think it is? The tree. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a massive fucking map. I remade the map uh, that I that uh, the dragon was killed on in my own style. In the uh, fucking rule. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. So. Um. You guys rolled really, really well. Um, I'm going to give you... Uh, can we go ahead and roll the d12 again? Eight. Oh, okay, yeah. Six. Okay. Fan-fucking-tastic. Was so, it that eight was already rolled, or is it that... Yeah, it's that uh, eight was already rolled. Oh, so 100 means you get a, um, a, uh, what is it called? A, um, legendary monster. Uh. Oh, balls. Uh, yeah. Uh, the one, the one that Red you guys had rolled. Red Hell Farce appears over our screen. Say what? Baby's first adventure. Everything goes dark. Red Health Bar appears. Oh, no. I mean. Boss music plays. Yeah, no, boss music is about to play. Um, uh, grabbing some Dark Souls music. Where did I put it? Bloodborne. I actually like Bloodborne. Where did I put it? Oh no. It's gotta be around here somewhere. There it is. There she is. Wait. Isn't she supposed to be dead? There's more than one. Huh. There's more than one of this creature. I noticed. Is it bad I was expecting something else? Oh, that's the... Okay, that's the thing that was um, in Orchid's Court, right? Yep. However, uh, because of the hundred... You're getting two monsters. Oh no. Uh, yeah. So. Is this where we get the dragon check, I showed check you? Check stream. Check stream. Yes. Why do you? Oh. Uh, there's a ravine. Void, if you wouldn't mind, since you are my wonderful, wonderful partner in the chat, um, roll me a d100. I don't know how long ago that was posted. Very, very recently. I, I, I checked the okay, chat cool. recently. I've been a dingus and not the paying a lick of attention to the chat. Uh, now I am, though. So if any of you <laughs> I... fuckers are thinking about being rude in there. Do we have the dunce hat? Yes. yes. <laughs> why, why take something off the screen when it can stay here forever? Everyone is wearing a hat. Yep. Ooh, sixty-one. You don't have a hat. So I will give I will give you I guys a, a chance. Hat. It's part of my character. I will give you guys a chance to at the Discord and recruit another player. Oh, you think we can't handle this? No. Uh, uh, no. Not with our current characters. No. I mean, you got Logic two level nines in the party. For dealing with a swarm of rats. And a small group of bandits. He is not designed for boss fights. Who no is? But it's just I... Cho. She's a glass cannon. <laughs> well, we've got we've got two level nines, and I think Roderick might be level ten by now. Uh, I think no, is he's level eight. not. He is level eight. Okay, so on the other end of that, that's still fine. I have a level, uh, five, a level eight and two level eights. Yeah. I'm not level 8, and neither is true. We're level 9, I think. 
to a level. Uh, it's a level five, two level, uh, two level nines, and a level eight character against three massive motherfucking monsters. Uh, I just Hold on, three? Them. Yeah, because there was a random encounter rolled. Yeah. I, see I just have to find the third monster. Oh no. Is it? Is it my boy Skittles? No. Is the super mega death chicken? <laughs> no. No, it's not. I'm glad you remember. Oh, oh god, it's this. It's a slad. It's a blue slad. It is a blue slad. He's a little funny guy. He's gonna get fucking crushed by the other two. Wait, they're all biting us? They all have a grudge? They all have red health bars, so they're all in a maze? Yeah, none of, none of them are exactly friendly. Are they friendly to each other? Well, are they all the same colored health bar? Yes. Then I would assume so, yes. <clears throat> oh, they formed an alliance. Wait, how the is dark the... Dark alliance. Why is this purple... Uh -huh. I thought the purple dragon would never ally with anything. I didn't say it was allied. I just said it wasn't particularly uh, unfriendly with these two. You're easier prey. And we're such a good eating. Look at these scrawny fucks. I am literally yeah, like you're a chicken scrawny. Dragon. Roderick is an entire beef shank. We yep. have one beef shank and three scrawny little fucks. Tisiphony is all like lean meat. Would are you guys gonna try and recruit, or are you guys gonna try and fight uh, fight it out? Uh, I know we posted, but it is late, and I don't know if yeah. uh, Void is interested. Sleepy while listening. Okay, yeah, Void is sleepy. Void is sleepy. Yeah, I did think Marchers. I, I, um... I was tempted... Uh-huh. Tempted to ask if I could, uh, recruit one of my characters. Which character? Uh, have them. Um... We're gonna actually move these guys around a little bit. Because the blue slot's over here. This guy's over here on his perch. Their whereabouts are relatively known. Uh, one of which has gone to space, the other of which uh, is space. acting as head of security for his own hometown. Space God can bring you back. <laughs> Space God could bring him back, assuming, you know, he actually listens to the gods. There's only two gods he actually listens to. That is true. Congratulations, y'all. You done goofed. Oh, no! Done goofed by rolling well. Get fucked all others. Doom. Let's play the Doom song. Yeah, Doom I music do. is appropriate here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm... sing the Doom song now. God. <laughs> that voice. I couldn't do it if I tried. Doom, it's also doom, late doom, and I'm trying not to wake up the puppy. Actually, I have the perfect song for this. All right, Let me share everybody, it and gather your party. Roll initiative. Sharks with legs. Uh, oh god, it's just us. Yeah. yeah. Uh. <laughs> oh no. Oh. oh. Hmm. I uh I I got a DM. Oh. One second. 
got a district manager. So, how likely is it for all of us to escape? This is me asking the party of character. I think we'll handle it. We'll, we'll, we'll be alright. I mean, I'll 100% survive. I don't know about the three of you technically, but I'm sure we'll have at least a 25% success rate. I mean, worse comes to worse. Roderick's lived a full life. Yeah, Roderick has lived a full life. We did say the over-under on Roderick dying is like 90% tonight, so... Well, we'll... I thought it was 60. No. I said 60. I said as a joke, 90. This was supposed to be his one last job before retirement. Joe finally You'll be gets fine. Me. You'll be fine. It's not like someone else is about to redeem an, an encounter or something. Did someone else I'm redeem an encounter? I'm scared to. Not yet. Okay. I'm scared to. <laughs> At this point, uh, you'd be rolling on the the modified encounter table where other like player characters might show up. Okay. Or, you know, gods. Things of that nature. Yeah. No, I mean... You, wouldn't want to make you know what they say when you're stuck in a pit, right? Just keep digging. Get a shovel. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't. The only way is up. Cry. Oh, you redeemed it. Okay. <laughs> hey. Alright. Hey, roll, I... uh, roll, uh, roll a d100. Let's see what you get. Nine. On a d100, you got a nine. Yeah. Okay. Give me one second. It's just gonna get worse. Hey, uh, Crow? Yeah? Is, uh, Roderick a religious man? <laughs> yeah. I mean, after... Better start I, praying. I, I, he usually prays to fairy, but at this point, he'll pray to whatever God will answer. Uh, I need your initiative orders. Cho, what did you roll? 16. Acer, what did you roll? Rue, hmm. what did you uh, roll? Six. Okay. Tisiphone, what did you roll? Sixteen, but not as good of a sixteen as it chose. Okay. And Roderick, what did you roll? Four. All right. The Slod rolled an eleven. The Cerberus rolled a nineteen. Thorin Hell Queen rolled a twenty. Oh. That's why okay. I asked if Roderick was a religious man, and the purple dragon is going to run. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Oh, I was scared as hell of that thing. The purple dragon shall run upon seeing the queen of hell. Allow me to find her token. Yeah, I was about to say, her token isn't on the board. Give me one moment. I was writing down your initiative order. I have to find her token. She's uh, in a large line of tokens that I have uh, curated. Because I've been running this game for fucking ever. Uh. <laughs> Thank you, Belle. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. Uh, being uh, being kind to me about about things and be in uh, waiting patiently for me to get my shit together. I just realized um, on and the playlist I'm playing. So, the moment you said the purple dragon runs, the here's the thing Kahoot. about Thorain when mm -hmm. in combat mode. She's a kaiju. Yeah. 
Honestly, who wouldn't be? It could be. Right? I have a character that wouldn't. But yeah, fair. <laughs> but yeah. I will guy allow you guys to see the aspect of, of Thorain's health bar and the number that is associated with it. Let me zoom in. All right, so Thorang goes first. We're going to go ahead and uh, change the 2,800. Music. Yep, this is just the aspect of Thorang Hell Queen. All righty, so Thorang is going to go first. She will step this way toward the other large creature uh, and begin attacking. Uh, I think she's just going to use her claws for this particular, this first attack. That's one attack, two attacks. Does she crit three on attacks. my teeth by chance? Uh, she crits on anything above a 10. Oh. Oh, hey, same. <laughs> really? <laughs> Damn, and I thought a keen rapier was fucking cracked. Um, you, uh, Bell allows to also stack improved, um, pretty cool. Uh huh. I do. That's one on I the mean, first I, one. Having improved critical fucking rules. Wait, no, I didn't. I need to actually. What is fifteen d twelve max damage? Um, that means three hundred. Thank you. So on the first strike. She did, uh... 480? Yeah, 480. Uh, and now the next Wait. strike... Wait. Uh-huh. Huh? No, 15 to 12 max damage should be 180, right? You said twice, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, twice, and yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I don't know. I thought I was keeping track of things said, but I don't know. I no, might have missed I, it. I legitimately did not ever hear the twice on my so, own. Yeah, yeah. She crit twice. She hit all <laughs> three times. She crit twice. Mm hmm. Ooh. Now, on the last roll, it's another 104 damage. And she'll look to the group of you and go. I assume you can handle things from here. Thank yeah. you. You are welcome. You should check out my dragon style if you stick around. <laughs> I have other other business to attend to, but thank you. I understand. And she will bamf off of the map. Uh, this thing is fucking hurt. Yeah. However, it is now the Cerberus's turn. Um... So the Cerberus is going to approach very quickly and at speed. Uh, and uh, she is going to, with all three heads, breath weapon attack. Uh, let's see who all this is going to hit. Yes. Just Roderick and Cho. No. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So... Please be fortitude. Please be fortitude. Uh, dexterity saving throw. Damn. Or a reflex save, rather. Yeah. Ah. Uh, I mean, at least it's not my max health. Okay. Cho, because of you natural 20, you just <gasps> shot up into the air, taking no damage. Yeah. Roderick, you take 97 points of damage. Yeah, the wife's not gonna be too happy about that, considering, uh... uh however, being that it, it, its breath weapon uses all three heads uh, to do that much damage, uh, it did use up its entire turn. That's not what I was supposed to roll, but I'll... Uh, 
Up next is to sit is Cho. Mm -hmm. So you're so, up. Um, and I'm gonna say you're like ten feet in the air. Now, what I wanted to do visually was um, Cho jumps in the air using her wings to dodge the breath weapon, uh -huh. and then just lets herself fall as she attacks. Oh yeah, absolutely. Just fucking braver that bitch. Yeah, with guess what? Your your keen katana. Yeah, but also mirror of equity. I'm not letting this thing live. Oh yeah, no fuck. I forgot about mirror of equity. <laughs> it's been a hot minute since you've played show. Go ahead and roll yeah. uh, roll damage for me. Um, let me see if I get at least crit. <laughs> um. Public crawl, attack modifier, nothing. Damage modifier, eh, nothing. I did. With an 11 of both. <laughs> He's dead. So Just Dead as yeah. shit. Dead now, as shit. I'm, I'm wondering, how much extra damage was that? Uh, what's the total for Mirror of Equity? Um, plus one damage per 10 health missing. Uh, so it has, uh, 690 HP, mm -hmm. uh, and it was down it's to nine. 20. Okay, smash roll. 619 minus 20. So, plus 67. Alright. So, yeah. So, you, you got him down 92 health points. From his from from what he was what he was initially uh, on yeah. your first attack. Yeah, I don't think she even needed it. Yeah, no, no, you didn't. I'm just saying you're. I'm gonna say you didn't use your second attack. No, like the mirror of equity. No, no, he was dead as shit. <laughs> I was, I was expecting like at least um a hundred health. Because of the size? <laughs> yeah, no. But yeah. Um, <laughs> how far away was that? 25. Uh, I'm gonna say you falling is does not expend mm -hmm. your movement speed. Then I'm going to say that half of that was just gone up. Yeah. So 15 to round up and make it easy. Okay. Um, then I'm just going to move here, still not my full fly speed. Um, and, um, I'm going to, um, what action was the weapon skills? Again? Uh, your weapon skills are a full action. Go to, no, like preparing them. Oh, a half action. To okay. use them as a, as a full action, to prepare them as a yeah. half action. Then a half action, prepare, I can say. Um, next, just use it with my next attack. Okay. And so you go. So, yeah, I was going to say, you've only used one attack so far, so you've got two yeah, more. Yeah, one action. Um, then half action, prepare, mm. weapon skill. Um... And other threats. Yeah, roll damage. My, what is your max? Um, my, actually, I think I have it as a macro. Okay. Um, let me check. Um, no, I don't. I just have the weapon skill as a macro. Um, but my max damage is 1d8 plus 2. That would be 8. Okay, so 8 plus 6. 6 plus 8. Yeah. 14. 14. For the first hit. Plus 19 from my weapon skill. Now, could I use um, my last half action before my iterative? Yeah. Okay, then my second would be with Jin Pu, okay. which gets the bonus from Hakase, which would be 5d6, so... Five plus eight. That is not. That is um. 
11. 13. Oh, 13? Yep. Plus 48. Okay. Uh, um, plus one from... No, wait, how much damage was that? Two. Plus three from the um, mirror of equity that is still up. Which would be... 62, 62 total damage. Yeah. Cho, the crit machine. Yay! Uh, and up at next, after Cho, is to Tiffany. Lovely. Uh, I'm going to start with the Chain of Hades. Uh, we're going to do an attack and then use, instead of an iterative attack, do the free grapple attempt. Okay. To try to get it to Humpty Dumpty off of this wall, if that's okay. That's perfectly fine. It's kind of like standing cool. on a staircase. D not very good rolls. Yeah, it's a out. natural one for the first one. Indeed. Uh, I assume 14 also wouldn't hit. Yeah, no, it bats your chain away with the massive claw, like, wolverine-looking claws that are coming out of its uh, its arms. Hmm. Change of tactic. And then it will look uh, at you and, of... and just go, at <laughs> least you should try and be as good as your friend, at least. Change of tactic. Uh, she's going to run up and body check this thing with a slam attack. Uh, this will be a stunning fist also. Yeah. So uh, DC 16 fortitude save uh, in oh, addition it's, to it's whatever this is. Save. What the fuck, dude? All right. I think I just miss. I think I don't even get anything done. No. I get nothing done this round. I mean, you want to take your iterative for a second slam? I guess 22 22 will hit uh, I will I will count it as the stunning fist he'll roll the reflex save fail hey stunned bitch uh, and take 9 points of damage from from that the stunned character drops everything held can't take actions loses any dexterity bonus to AC and takes a minus 2 penalty to AC alright Aesir you're up cause the slod is stunned and cannot go uh, okay. Um. Oh, why is that Sika? I have, uh, I, because you didn't have character art at the time. Ah, fair enough. Um. I will put, I will put your character on the screen. Yay. Just give me two seconds. I don't know if that's where you were before, but it is where you are now. <laughs> uh. I was above, um, pro. Okay. Put you back in a moment. Oh. There we go. And I just... Where's my character sheet? Uh... I slap... Was it Roger? Uh, Roderick. 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 I slap Roderick with two level two cure moderate wounds. Just burn both. All right. Okay, that's very kind of you. How much? Uh... Uh, six. Six on the one. On the first and... one. Twelve on the second. So 18. He is now up to 26 health. Fantastic. So that's two actions. Uh, that's... Thank you. Okay. Cool. Um, so before you do that, I will say, like, I won't make you waste the cure light wounds. Your channel energy is going to heal him more than that. And it's oh. half action. Let's we'll do that. Channel energy. Once per day. It's nine. All right. Yeah. You heal, you heal nine more points. You can technically do that two more times. Like, or one more time because it's a half action. 
You can just keep healing. Yeah. So, Roderick, you heal another 11 points. 20. 20 yeah, 20, not 20, uh, 20 total. Uh, another 11 on top of that 9. So he goes up to 46 health. He's at about half health now. Yeah, your, your, little, your little dear friend just, like, runs over very quickly and just starts fucking pumping health points into you. Uh, old Roddy boy, it's your turn. Uh, Roderick, uh, he looks at the slad, looks at the axe in his hand, looks at the slad, and he will stash Gifted Embrace on his back and pull out Axe of the Profane Crusade. Oh, God! <laughs> um, something else I'd like to mention. Um... So, if I, so dashing will take one of my three actions, yes? Yes, yes. dashing, dashing, uh, so a double move is one full action. Cool. So that ought to put me, 10, 15, about there? Yep. Um, the I axe of the profane, the axe of the profane, uh, uh, is uh, has a 100 foot throw throw uh, throwing range. Oh, and it is an enchanted axe. Well, uh, if that's the case, then um, do I just make a standard attack, or do I want to try and uh, restruct? Bit quickly build a new attack so that it's the throne equivalent. So just roll, uh, roll a ranged attack roll with, uh, with your, uh, or just roll an attack roll. Um, uh, yeah, just roll an attack roll, uh, with the Axe of the Profane Crusade. Um, uh, and it'll, I'll count it. Uh, plus. Three. So, I'm. I do, don't have any of the damage set up on it, but does a twenty. Both of those hit? will hit. Cool. Uh, if that's the case, let's actually roll Acts of the Profane Crusade just to see how much damage that'll be. See, thrown profanity. Fucking yeah. <laughs> All right, all right. Dope, dope, dope. Uh, so that is 25 damage total. All right, do you want to use the iterative? Because the Axe of the Profane Crusade, cool thing about it, is it is a sentient weapon, and you can command it to attack while it's in, in the slot. Oh, it can do that? Yes, that's the cool thing about Bell's weapons. But it's rip like a Beyblade, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then it will come right back to your hand. It, oh, it goes right back to his hand? After you, you after you have attacked with it, yes, it will. Then, yeah, he's gonna throw it again, and... Um... Would this cause any of the negativity involved in... Yeah, I need you to uh, make that. a will save. Okay. That is... Uh-oh. All right, so you're going to write down, you're going to mark down, you can choose where to mark it down. Uh, uh, you take one malice point. If you get to uh, to 10 malice points, something interesting will happen. <laughs> Roderick feels a bit more angry at this slot. Probably a little angrier than he's felt in a very long time. Like, this slot just insulted your wife. You didn't hear it do it, but something's telling you this slot insulted your wife. Uh, so what was the point I just got? Malice. Malice. Uh, so I'm just gonna... Wait. How many does she have? Let me check. Oh, she has four. Yep. Joe has okay. four so far. No. Um, Sess. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Joe doesn't have any. <laughs> so I think that's the first malice point Roderick has gotten in a while. I believe so too, yeah. Uh, so I guess now I have one action left? Yes, you do. Well, we're gonna... We're gonna throw on profanity again, except this time without the iterative. Okay. Yeah, that 31 will hit. That is... Uh, 32 damage total. Alright. Hell yeah, make another will save. Hopefully I succeed this one. Hopefully, yeah. I doubt it. Uh, yeah, no, a 14 is enough to save. Oh, thank God. DC 13. So, yeah. Oh, boy. You just failed last time, to. just passed this time. Um, and that'll be Roderick's turn, bringing us back to Cho. Okay. Do I even need to try? <laughs> uh, so, Cho, just, just tell me how you'd yes. like to kill this slug. You go ahead and roll for me. Um, At least roll an attack yeah. roll. <laughs> Watch it all be natural ones all over. I would laugh my fucking ass off. Oh, what? You mean like my rolls? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly Watch like your rolls. <laughs> oh, wait. Am I flanking? Uh, yes. That it matters, but yes, still. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> okay. Let's see what the actual roll was. Natural 18. Hey, uh, really just, just, des just describe yeah, how you would like to kill this thing. Um, she stabs it in um, where she <laughs> believes her its heart would be and then just slashes outward. Okay, and you guys see uh, fucking Cho just demolish this fucking thing after Roderick slams this very clearly evil axe into this thing's face. Um, and you guys, you know, the, the battlefield calms a little, uh, and you see a red tiefling kind of step out on the front porch of this, uh, of this house and go, uh, what are you guys doing out here as, uh, Icarus steps out onto the porch of this house? Give me one second and I will put Icarus on screen. House? Yeah, over here. Oh, Bottom left hand yeah. corner. This is where Icarus oh, decided to build their home. Um, does Cho know Icarus? I am not sure if Cho knows Icarus. Uh, also, uh, Void needs to put like an actual regular token on here. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Icarus will step out on the porch and kind of go, uh, what are you folks doing out here? What the hell's going on? Who who also has uh, uh, Icarus uh, sheep controls? Everyone, everyone does. I okay. Do. I will I will change that right now. Uh, we're here on behalf of the uh, Explorers Guild. Is that right? Uh, yes, you are here on behalf of the Explorers Guild. Exploring, I do believe. Oh, so you guys are here to probably deal with that cult in the, in the hole. There's a cult. That's, yeah, we did hear about that. Yeah, um, from from what I heard, from what I've seen, they're kind of uh, very fanatical. Why don't you guys come in here and rest? Looks like you guys had a, uh, a rather difficult uh, fight just now. Yeah. You need to roll, uh, you need to roll, uh, uh, fucking, uh, exhaustion, Joe. Fatigue. Yeah. Oh, right. I forgot that's a thing. How many runs was it? Uh, I think it was three two. or four. Yeah, there are two. Yeah. Uh, Rue, I have moved yeah. your character for you. That way you're over here um, with the rest, with, with, the, with, the, with the rest of us. Um, and the, uh, the... Icarus just kind of goes, come inside, rest by the fire. You guys can deal with the cult in the morning. It's uh, it's starting to get sunrise. Yeah. And Icarus will lead you inside. This is uh, where I think I need to end session. 
Uh, or at least do mm -hmm. a BRB, because I really need to use the bathroom. I mean, I'm done to end here, actually. Yeah. Alright, thank you guys for playing. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And fuck you, Dave! Fuck you, Dave. Fuck you, Dave. Fuck you, Dave.